The excerpt from Brahms' Third Symphony asks one question. Can a player play a beautiful phrase while navigating the challenges that Brahms presents? This melody is just so perfect. It's serene and florid while having shadows and depth. The horn excerpt occurs in the middle of the movement after the audience has already heard the melody several times, so it's not meant to be too pondering, rather a return to beauty. One quick note before we begin. Sometimes the held first note is part of the excerpt, but usually not. Practice both to be prepared for either request. The movement is written in 3-8, which halves the value of what could have been written in 3-4. This seemingly simple switch can cause confusion in the stress of a performance. The first and most frequent rhythmic complexity is the dotted 16th 32nd figure occurring seven times throughout the excerpt, as an upbeat and as a downbeat. The figure is wrongly played as a triplet in many recordings, and tricks our ears. So beware that what you listen to is not always the perfect audition version. Otherwise, the tempo does not change throughout the excerpt, and especially not here. The final rhythmic complexity is the quintuplet at the penultimate bar. Striving for totally equal notes is the preferred performance practice, though some players do end up with a 2 plus 3, or a 3 plus 2 feeling. Brahms looked fondly on the old natural horn, which had largely gone out of fashion by the time he was writing. Nevertheless, he wrote his symphonies for a theoretical natural horn. This passage in C minor would require a very skilled natural horn player to execute perfectly. The crook of C basso, one of the longest in the natural horn arsenal, does tell us something about the way it should be conceived. The C basso natural horn has a dark, mellow tone that speaks very slowly and deliberately. To give a feeling of the C basso crook, play a few notes using your first and third valves on the F horn. Huge difference. Not only do we have to transpose from C to the modern key of F, we have to draw from the sound of that old instrument to our modern aesthetic. The excerpt is divided into two halves. The first half begins with an idea, which is then amplified with a larger leap the second time. Then the idea is shortened, repeated, and brought back to our original written C. The second half rises stepwise to two beautiful intervals before receding back to our original note and ending with the final flourish. Breathing takes many forms, but the one I recommend is this one. Breathing here offers the best balance between a long phrase and enough air to play the final note. For those still struggling to play the final phrase in one breath, they may choose this approach. No matter what your choice of breathing, the phrase and a beauty of sound is paramount to a beautiful performance of Brahms III.